I'm going to show you how to add some text and also play some layer styles. Uh, so we'll jump in here and grab the text tool first. And if you just go ahead and single click, uh, if you double or if you uh, click and drag, you'll make a text box. Um, so maybe you just want to add a little bit of text. So maybe I'll just um, add uh, a name in there. And uh, then if you want to move it, you grab the move tool. You can kind of position it where you want it to go. Uh, and I want to make this a little bit bigger. So after I've moved it, I'm going to go, you can either grab it from a corner. That's one way. Uh, sometimes you can resize some things and then just click on the checkbox. Um, I also need to play with my layers and drag it up a little bit uh, to put it in the right spot. If you want to play with a little bit more, maybe change the font. Uh, click back on the text tool and in here you can play with uh, all kinds of different fonts in here. Um, I think I'm going to keep it for now. You can also play with the, the point size there. You can also play with the color and I think I will change that uh, to a different color. And once you kind of get that uh, laid out then uh, you're ready to kind of place it a little bit more. And I think I want to make that a little bit bigger um, on there. So once you get that positioned or put it in the right spot, um, you can also add more text layers. So just grabbing another um, click and then just you can type in whatever else you want it to say. Uh, and once you get that set up, you just move that with the move tool um, where you want to go. Um, and just kind of position that. Uh, I want to do a little bit more with the text, so I want to add some, maybe some layer styles. So if you go up to layer, and so go up to layer and go to layer styles. Uh, in here you can go to layer style settings, and in here I can add some things, maybe like a glow or a drop shadow. So maybe I'll just start off by just adding um, a glow. I don't think I want to put a drop shadow on this one, but I'm going to go ahead and put a glow and click on that uh, either inner or outer. So I'll click on the outer. So glow and then outer. That'll put a little bit. And then you can also play with the sizing to kind of push it out a little bit if you want to. Uh, maybe I will play a little bit with a drop shadow. And on the drop shadow, if you click on that, uh, you can also play with a little bit of distance to kind of make it pop out. You can also play with the angle uh, of that uh, as you go with that too. So you can also modify these. So on my outer glow, if I don't like that yellow, I can change that. Maybe I'll just change it to a green. And I always like to see what I'm changing, so I move it to the side. And then click OK uh, on there. Uh, there's a bevel in here. We're going to play with that a little bit to kind of bevel it a little bit. Um, and I'll go ahead and I think and just click OK at this point in time. So I think I'm OK with that. But you can also do that to your pictures too. So maybe if I go ahead and click on one of my pictures and same thing, just go into uh, layer and layer styles, go to style setting. I can go in and play some of those. So maybe I'll um, add another drop shadow. I'll just leave that as default or move it a little bit. Uh, maybe on this one I'll do an inner glow and maybe make it green. I uh, can't see what I'm doing so I'll move that to the side and bring the size in a little bit. It's a little bit tough to see just because I've got a lighter picture here. And then I'm going to leave bevel on this one and maybe I'll play with the stroke a little bit. So stroke allows you to kind of put in just a simple little border uh, on there. Uh, I could play with the color of that. Maybe I'll try and make that one white um, or just whatever color you're trying to uh, play with. You can play the thickness a little bit so it does a little bit for you uh, and then click OK. So once I have that in there, I kind of want to use that for my, all my other pictures. So if I want to copy that to all these other ones, if you go to that layer, so currently I have that effect on this image, and if I right mouse click on it, I can go ahead and um, go to duplicate, um, or I can, well, it's not letting me do it, so I can, uh, I clicked on the wrong part, so right mouse click directly uh, on that layer, not on the little FX, but right beside it, and you can go to a copy layer styles. And now if I just 
click on any of these other ones, I can go ahead and paste my layer styles. So I'll click on another one and then paste my layer styles so that each one of those has that uh, same. And you can actually do them all at the same time uh, if you want to on this. So right mouse click and paste those. You can also clear layer, layer styles too. So if you get one that you do not like, you can also right mouse click and you can do a clear layer styles. So pretty much all I need to do is just do a little bit of maneuvering and repositioning some of my uh, images and um, I could be done.